The Chalukya dynasty was an Indian royal dynasty that ruled large parts of southern and central India between the 6th and the 12th centuries. During this period, they ruled as three related yet individual dynasties. The earliest dynasty, known as the Badami Chalukyas, ruled from Vatapi modern Badami from the middle of the 6th century. The Badami Chalukyas began to assert their independence at the decline of the Kadamba kingdom of Banavasi and rapidly rose to prominence during the reign of Palakeshin II. After the death of Palakeshin II, the eastern Chalukyas became an independent kingdom in the eastern Deccan. They ruled from Vengi until about the 11th century. In the western Deccan, the rise of the Rashtrakutas in the middle of the 8th century eclipsed the Chalukyas of Badami before being revived by their descendants, the western Chalukyas, in the late 10th century. These western Chalukyas ruled from Kalyani modern until the end of the 12th century. The rule of the Chalukyas marks an important milestone in the history of South India and a golden age in the history of Karnataka. The political atmosphere in South India shifted from smaller kingdoms to large empires with the ascendancy of Badami Chalukyas. A southern India-based kingdom took control and consolidated the entire region between the Kaveri and the Narmada rivers. The rise of this empire saw the birth of efficient administration, overseas trade and commerce and the development of new style of architecture called Shalukyan architecture. Kannada literature, which had enjoyed royal support in the 9th century Rashtrakuta court found eager patronage from the western Shalukas in the Jain and Virashaiva traditions. The 11th century saw the birth of Telugu literature under the patronage of the eastern Shalukas. Origins Natives of Karnataka While opinions vary regarding the early origins of the Chalukyas, the consensus among noted historians such as John Key, D.C. Sirkar, Hans Raj, S. Sen, Kamath, K. V. Ramesh and Karmarkar as the founders of the empire at Badami were native to the modern Karnataka region, a theory that they were descendants of a 2nd century chieftain called Kandakalaki Remanaka, a feudatory of the Andhra Ikshvaku from an Ikshvaku inscription of the 2nd century was put forward. This according to Kamath has failed to explain the difference in lineage. The Kandakalaki feudatory call themselves Vashisthiputras of the Hiranyakagatra. The Chalukyas, however, address themselves as Harithiputras of Manavyasagatra in their inscriptions, which is the same lineage as their early overlords, the Kadambas of Banavasi. This makes them descendants of the Kadambas. The Chalukyas took control of the territory formerly ruled by the Kadambas. A later record of eastern Chalukyas mentions the northern origin theory and claims one ruler of Ayodhya came south, defeated the Pallavas, and married a Pallava princess. She had a child called Vijayaditya who is claimed to be the Palakeshin I's father. However, according to the historians K. V. Ramesh, Chopra and Sastri, there are Badami Chalukya inscriptions that confirm Jayasimha was Palakeshin I's grandfather and Ranaraga, his father. Kamath and Morais claim it was a popular practice in the 11th century to link South Indian royal family lineage to a northern kingdom. The Badami Chalukya records themselves are silent with regards to the Ayodhya origin. While the northern origin theory has been dismissed by many historians, the epigraphist K. V. Ramesh has suggested that an earlier southern migration is a distinct possibility which needs examination. According to him, the complete absence of any inscriptional reference of their family connections to Ayodhya, and their subsequent Kanadiga identity may have been due to their earlier migration into present day Karnataka region where they achieved success as chieftains and kings. Hence, the place of origin of their ancestors may have been of no significance to the kings of the empire who may have considered themselves natives of the Kannada-speaking region. The writing of 12th-century Kashmiri poet Bilhana suggests the Chalukya family belonged to the Shudra caste while other sources claim they were Kshatriyas. The historians Jan Hoban and Kamath, and the epigraphist D. C. Sirkar note the Badami Chalukya inscriptions are in Kannada and Sanskrit. According to the historian N. L. Rao, their inscriptions call them Karnatas and their names use indigenous Kannada titles such as Priyagalam and Nadyutagelvam. The names of some Chalukya princes end with the pure Kannada term Arasa meaning king or chief. The Rashtrakuta inscriptions call the Chalukyas of Badami Karnatabala, power of Karnata. It has been proposed by the historian S. C. Nandinath that the word Chalukya 
Originated from Salki or Chaki which is a Kannada word for an agricultural implement. Historical sources Inscriptions in Sanskrit and Kannada are the main source of information about Badami Chalukya history. Among them, the Badami cave inscriptions of Mangalisha 578, Kap Arabata record of c. 700, Pedavaduguru inscription of Palakeshin II, the Kanchi Kailasanatha temple inscription and Patadakal Virapaksha temple inscription of Vikramaditya II all in Kannada language provide more evidence of the Chalukya language. The Badami cliff inscription of Palakeshin I 543, the Mahakuta pillar inscription of Mangalisha 595, and the eyehole inscription of Palakeshin II 634 are examples of important Sanskrit inscriptions written in Old Kannada script. The reign of the Chalukyas saw the arrival of Kannada as the predominant language of inscriptions along with Sanskrit, in areas of the Indian peninsula outside what is known as Tamilaham Tamil country. Several coins of the Badami Chalukyas with Kannada legends have been found. All this indicates that Kannada language flourished during this period. Travelogues of contemporary foreign travelers have provided useful information about the Chalukyan Empire. The Chinese traveler Xuanzang had visited the court of Palakeshin II. At the time of this visit, as mentioned in the Ihole record, Palakeshin II had divided his empire into three Maharashtrakas or great provinces comprising 99,000 villages each. This empire possibly covered present-day Karnataka, Maharashtra and coastal Konkan. Xuanzang, impressed with the governance of the empire observed that the benefits of the king's efficient administration was felt far and wide. Later, Persian Emperor Khosrau II exchanged ambassadors with Palakeshin II. <inaudible> <inaudible> Legends Court poets of the Western Chalukya dynasty of Kalyani narrate, "...once when Brahma, the creator, was engaged in the performance of the Sandhya twilight rituals, Indra approached and beseeched him to create a hero who could put to an end the increasing evil on earth. On being thus requested, Brahma looked steadily into the Chuluka Yala the water of oblation in his palm and out sprang thence a great warrior, the progenitor of the Chalukyas." The Chalukyas claimed to have been nursed by the Sapta Matrikas, seven divine mothers, and were worshippers of many gods including Shiva, Vishnu, Chamundi, Surya, Kubera, Parvati, Vinayaka and Kartikeya. Some scholars connect the Chalukyas with the Chalukyas of Gujarat. According to a myth mentioned in latter manuscripts of Prithviraj Raso, Chalukyas were born out of fire pit Agnakund at Mount Abu. However it has been reported that the story of Agnakula is not mentioned at all in the original version of the Prithviraj Raso preserved in the fort library at Bikaner. According to the Nilagunda inscription of King Vikramaditya VI 11th century or later, the Chalukyas originally hailed from Ayodhya where 59 kings ruled, and later, 16 more of this family ruled from South India where they had migrated. This is repeated by his court poet Bilhana, who claims that the first member of the family, Chalukya, was so named as he was born in the hollow of the hands of God Brahma. According to a theory put forward by Lewis, the Chalukya were descendants of the Salukya tribe of Iraq and that their conflict with the Pallava of Kanshi was, but a continuation of the conflict between ancient Salukya and Parthians, the proposed ancestors of Pallavas. However, this theory has been rejected by Kamath as it seeks to build lineages based simply on similar sounding clan names. Topic. Periods in Chalukya history The Chalukyas ruled over the Deccan Plateau in India for over 600 years. During this period, they ruled as three closely related, but individual dynasties. These are the Chalukyas of Badami, also called early Chalukyas, who ruled between the 6th and the 8th century, and the two sibling dynasties, the Chalukyas of Kalyani also called Western Chalukyas or Later Chalukyas, and the Chalukyas of Vengi, also called Eastern Chalukyas. Chalukyas of Badami 
In the 6th century, with the decline of the Gupta dynasty and their immediate successors in northern India, major changes began to happen in the area south of the Vindhyas, the Deccan and Tamilaham. The age of small kingdoms had given way to large empires in this region. The Chalukya dynasty was established by Palakeshin I in 543. Palakeshin I took Vatapi modern Badami in Bagalkot district, Karnataka under his control and made it his capital. Palakeshin I and his descendants are referred to as Chalukas of Badami. They ruled over an empire that comprised the entire state of Karnataka and most of Andhra Pradesh and the Deccan. Palakeshin II, whose pre-coronation name was Araya, commanded control over the entire Deccan and is perhaps the most well-known emperor of the Badami dynasty. He is considered one of the notable kings in Indian history. His queens were princess from the Alupa dynasty of South Kanara and the Western Ganga dynasty of Talakad, clans with whom the Chalukyas maintained close family and marital relationships. Palakeshin II extended the Chalukya Empire up to the northern extents of the Pallava Kingdom and halted the southward march of Harsha by defeating him on the banks of the river Narmada. He then defeated the Vishnukundans in the southeastern Deccan. Pallava Narasimhavarman however reversed this victory in 642 by attacking and occupying Badami temporarily. It is presumed Palakeshin II, the great hero, died fighting. The Badami Chalukya dynasty went into a brief decline following the death of Palakeshin II due to internal feuds when Badami was occupied by the Pallavas for a period of 13 years. It recovered during the reign of Vikramaditya I, who succeeded in pushing the Pallavas out of Badami and restoring order to the empire. Vikramaditya I took the title, Rajamala, lit. Sovereign of the Malas, or Pallavas. The 37-year rule of Vijayaditya was a prosperous one and is known for prolific temple building activity. The empire was its peak again during the rule of the illustrious Vikramaditya II who is known not only for his repeated invasions of the territory of Tondimandalam and his subsequent victories over Pallava Nandivarman II, but also for his benevolence towards the people and the monuments of Kanchipuram, the Pallava capital. He thus avenged the earlier humiliation of the Chalukyas by the Pallavas and engraved a Kannada inscription on the victory pillar at the Kailasanatha temple. During his reign Arab intruders of the Umayyad Caliphate invaded southern Gujarat which was under Chalukya rule but the Arabs were defeated and driven out by Palakeshi, a Chalukya governor of Navsari. He later overran the other traditional kingdoms of Tamil country, the Pandyas, the Cholas and the Cheras in addition to subduing a Calibre ruler. The last Chalukya king, Kurtavarman II, was overthrown by the Rashtrakuta king Dantidurga in 753. At their peak, the Chalukyas ruled a vast empire stretching from the Kaveri in the south to the Narmada in the north. Chalukyas <laughs> of Kalyani The Chalukyas revived their fortunes in 973 after over 200 years of dormancy when much of the Deccan was under the rule of the Rashtrakutas. The genealogy of the kings of this empire is still debated. One theory, based on contemporary literary and inscriptional evidence plus the finding that the Western Chalukyas employed titles and names commonly used by the early Chalukyas, suggests that the Western Chalukya kings belonged to the same family line as the illustrious Badami Chalukya dynasty of the 6th century while other Western Chalukya inscriptional evidence indicates they were a distinct line unrelated to the early Chalukyas. Tilapa II, a Rashtrakuta feudatory ruling from Tardavadi 1000 Bijapur district overthrew Karka II re-established the Chalukya rule in the western Deccan and recovered most of the Chalukya Empire. The western Chalukyas ruled for over 200 years and were in constant conflict with the Cholas, and with their cousins, the eastern Chalukyas of Vengi. Vikramaditya VI is widely considered the most notable ruler of the dynasty. Starting from the very beginning of his reign, which lasted 50 years, he abolished the original Saka era and established the Vikrama era. Most subsequent Chalukya inscriptions are dated in this new era. Vikramaditya VI was an ambitious and skilled military leader. Under his leadership the western Chalukyas were able to end the Chola influence over Vengi coastal Andhra and become the dominant power in the Deccan. The western Chalukya period was an important age in the development of Kannada literature and Sanskrit literature. They went into their final dissolution towards the end of the 12th century with the rise of the Hoysala Empire, the Pandyas, the Kakatiya and the Sunna Yadavas of Devagiri. Chalukyas 
Topic: <laughs> Shalukas of Vengi. Palakeshin II conquered the eastern Deccan, corresponding to the coastal districts of modern Andhra Pradesh in 616, defeating the remnants of the Vishnukundina kingdom. He appointed his brother Kuba Vishnuvardhana as viceroy in 621. Thus the eastern Chalukyas were originally of Kannada stock. After the death of Palakeshin II, the Vengi viceroyalty developed into an independent kingdom and included the region between Nellar and Visakhapatnam. After the decline of the Badami Chalukya Empire in the mid 8th century, territorial disputes flared up between the Rashtrakutas, the new rulers of the western Deccan, and the eastern Chalukyas. For much of the next two centuries, the eastern Chalukyas had to accept subordination towards the Rashtrakutas. Apart from a rare military success, such as the one by Vijayaditya II c. it was only during the rule of Bhima I c. that these Chalukyas were able to celebrate a measure of independence. After the death of Bhima I, the Andhra region once again saw succession disputes and interference in Vengi affairs by the Rashtrakutas. The fortunes of the eastern Chalukyas took a turn around 1000. Danarnava, their king, was killed in battle in 973 by the Telugu Chota king Bhima who then imposed his rule over the region for 27 years. During this time, Danarnava's two sons took refuge in the Chola kingdom. Chota Bhima's invasion of Tondimandalam, a Chola territory, and his subsequent death on the battlefield opened up a new era in Chola Shalukya relations. Saktivarman I, the elder son of Danarnava was crowned as the ruler of Vengi in 1000, though under the control of King Rajaraja Chola I this new relationship between the Cholas and the coastal Andhra kingdom was unacceptable to the western Chalukyas, who had by then replaced the Rashtrakutas as the main power in the western Deccan. The western Chalukyas sought to brook the growing Chola influence in the Vengi region but were unsuccessful. Initially, the eastern Chalukyas had encouraged Kannada language and literature, though, after a period of time, local factors took over and they gave importance to Telugu language. Telugu literature owes its growth to the eastern Chalukyas. <laughs> Architecture The Badami Chalukya era was an important period in the development of South Indian architecture. The kings of this dynasty were called Umapati Varlab and built many temples for the Hindu god Shiva. Their style of architecture is called Chalukyan architecture or Karnata Dravida architecture. Nearly a hundred monuments built by them, rock cut cave, and structural, are found in the Malaprabha River basin in modern Bagalkot district of northern Karnataka. The building material they used was a reddish golden sandstone found locally. These cave temples are basically excavations, cut out of the living rock sites they occupy. They were not built as their structural counterparts were, rather created by a special technique known as subtraction, and are basically sculptural. Though they ruled a vast empire, the Chalukyan workshops concentrated most of their temple building activity in a relatively small area within the Chalukyan heartland, Ihole, Badami, Patadakal, and Mahakuta in modern Karnataka state. Their temple building activity can be categorized into three phases. The early phase began in the last quarter of the 6th century and resulted in many cave temples, prominent among which are three elementary cave temples at Ihole, one Vedic, one Jain and one Buddhist which is incomplete, followed by four developed cave temples at Badami of which Cave 3, a Vaishnava temple, is dated accurately to 578 CE. These cave temples at Badami are similar, in that, each has a plain exterior but an exceptionally well-finished interior consisting of a pillared veranda, a columned hall mantapa, and a cella shrine, cut deep into rock which contains the deity of worship. In Badami, three caves temples are Vedic and one in Jain. The Vedic temples contain large well-sculpted images of Harihara, Mahishashuramardini, Varaha, Narasimha, Trivikrama, Vishnu seated on Anantha the snake, and Nataraja dancing Shiva. .The second phase of temple building was at Ihole where some 70 structures exist and has been called one of the cradles of Indian temple architecture and Badami. Though the exact dating of these temples has been debated, there is consensus that the beginnings of these constructions are from c. 600. These are the Lad Khan Temple dated by some to c. 
450 but more accurately to 620 with its interesting perforated stone windows and sculptures of river goddesses, the Meguti Jain Temple 634 which shows progress in structural design, the Durga Temple with its northern Indian style tower 8th century and experiments to adapt a Buddhist Chaitya design to a Brahminical one its stylistic framework is overall a hybrid of north and south Indian styles, the Husimali Gudi Temple with a new inclusion, a vestibule, connecting the sanctum to the hall. Other Dravida-style temples from this period are the Naganatha Temple at Nagaral, the Banantigudi Temple, the Mahakutesvara Temple and the Malakarjuna Temple at Mahakuta, and the Lower Sivalaya Temple, the Malajiti Sivalaya Temple upper, and the Jambulingasvara Temple at Badami. Located outside the Shalukyan architectural heartland, 140 km southeast of Badami, with a structure related to the early Shalukya style is the unusual Parvati Temple at Sandaru which dates to the late 7th century. It is medium-sized, 48 feet long and 37 feet wide. It has a Nagara North Indian style Vimana tower and Dravida South Indian style parts, has no Mantapa hall and consists of an Antarala vestibule crowned with a barrel vaulted tower The staggered base plan of the temple became popular much later, in the 11th century. The structural temples at Patadakal, built in the 8th century and now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, marks the culmination and mature phase of Badami Shalukyan architecture. The Bhutanatha group of temples at Badami are also from this period. There are ten temples at Patadakal, six in southern Dravida style and four in the northern Nagara style. Well known among these are the Sangamesvara Temple 725, the Virapaksha Temple 740 to 745 and the Malakarjuna Temple 740 to 745 in the southern style. The Papanatha Temple 680 and Galaganatha Temple 740 are early attempts in the Nagara Dravida fusion style. Inscriptional evidence suggests that the Virapaksha and the Malakarjuna temples were commissioned by the two queens of King Vikramaditya II after his military success over the Pallavas of Kanchipuram. Some well-known names of Shalukyan architects are Rivadi Ovaja, Narasabha and Anivrita Gunda. The reign of Western Shalukas was an important period in the development of Deccan architecture. Their architecture served as a conceptual link between the Badami Shalukya architecture of the 8th century and the Hoysala architecture popularized in the 13th century. The center of their cultural and temple building activity lay in the Tungabhadra region of modern Karnataka state, encompassing the present day Darwad district. It included areas of present day Haveri and Gadig districts. Here, large medieval workshops built numerous monuments. These monuments, regional variants of pre existing Dravida temples, defined the Karnata Dravida tradition. The most notable of the many buildings dating from this period are the Mahadeva Temple at Atagi in the Kapil district, the Kasavisvesvara Temple at Lakundi in the Gadig district, the Malakarjuna Temple at Karuvati, and the Kalasvara Temple at Bagali, both in the Devanjar district. Other notable constructions are the Dada Basapa Temple at Dambal Gadig district, the Siddhisvara Temple at Haveri, Haveri district, and the Amritasvara Temple at Anajeri Darwad district. The eastern Shalukas built some fine temples at Alampur, in modern eastern Andhra Pradesh. <laughs> <laughs> Literature The eyehole inscription of Palakeshin II written by his court poet Ravikirti in Sanskrit language and Kannada script is considered as a classical piece of poetry. A few verses of a poet named Vijayanaka who describes herself as the ''Dark Sarasvati'' have been preserved. It is possible that she may have been a queen of Prince Chandraditya a son of Palakeshin II. Famous writers in Sanskrit from the Western Chalukya period are Vijnaneshwara who achieved fame by writing Matakshara, a book on Hindu law, and King Someshvara III, a noted scholar, who compiled an encyclopedia of all arts and sciences called Manasalasa. From the period of the Badami Chalukyas, references are made to the existence of Kannada literature, though not much has survived. Inscriptions however refer to Kannada as the natural language. The Kap Arabata record of C. 700 in Tripadi three line meter is the earliest available work in Kannada poetics. Karnateshwara Katha, which was quoted later by Jayakirti, is believed to be a eulogy of Palakeshin II and to have belonged to this period. 
Other probable Kannada writers, whose works are not extant now but titles of which are known from independent references are Syamakundacharya 650, who is said to have authored the Prabrita, and Srivaradadeva also called Tumabalaracharya, 650 or earlier, the possible author of the Chudamani crest jewel. A lengthy commentary on logic, the rule of the Western and Eastern Chalukyas, however, is a major event in the history of Kannada and Telugu literatures respectively. By the 9th–10th centuries, Kannada language had already seen some of its most notable writers. The three gems of Kannada literature, Adhikavi Pampa, Sri Pana and Rana belonged to this period. In the 11th century, Telugu literature was born under the patronage of the Eastern Chalukyas with Nanaya Bhatta as its first writer. <laughs> Badami Chalukya country <laughs> Army The army was well organized and this was the reason for Palakeshin II's success beyond the Vindhyas. It consisted of an infantry, a cavalry, an elephant corps and a powerful navy. The Chinese traveler Haiyuan Tsiang wrote that the Shalukyan army had hundreds of elephants which were intoxicated with liquor prior to battle. It was with their navy that they conquered Rivadadvipa Goa, and Puri on east coast of India. Rashtrakuta inscriptions use the term Karnatabala when referring to the powerful Chalukya armies. <inaudible> <inaudible> Land governance The government, at higher levels, was closely modelled after the Magadhan and Satavahana administrative machinery. The empire was divided into Maharashtrakas provinces, then into smaller Rashtrakas Mandala, Vishaya district, Boga group of ten villages which is similar to the Dasagrama unit used by the Kadambas. At the lower levels of administration, the Kadamba style prevailed fully. The Sanjan plates of Vikramaditya I even mentions a land unit called Dasagrama. In addition to imperial provinces, there were autonomous regions ruled by feudatories such as the Alupas, the Gangas, the Banas and the Sendrakas. Local assemblies and guilds looked after local issues. Groups of Mahahanas learned Brahmins looked after Agraharas called Ghataka or place of higher learning, such as at Badami which was served by 2,000 Mahajans and Ihole which was served by 500 Mahahanas. Taxes were levied and were called the Herjunka, tax on loads, the Kirakula, tax on retail goods in transit, the Bilkode, sales tax, the Panaya, beetle tax, Siddhaya, land tax and the Vataravula, tax levied to support royalty. Coinage <inaudible> 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 The Badami Shalukas minted coins that were of a different standard compared to the coins of the northern kingdoms. The coins had Nagari and Kannada legends. The coins of Mangalisha had the symbol of a temple on the obverse and a scepter between lamps or a temple on the reverse. Palakeshin II's coins had a caparisoned lion facing right on the obverse and a temple on the reverse. The coins weighed 4 grams and were called, in Old Kannada, Hun or Hanu and had fractions such as Fana or Fanam and the quarter Fana the modern-day Kannada equivalent being Hana, which literally means, money. A gold coin called Gadiana is mentioned in a record at the Vijayeshwara temple at Patadakal, which later came to be known as Varaha, the royal emblem. Topic: <inaudible> Religion. Both Shaivism and Vaishnavism flourished during the Badami Chalukya period, though it seems the former was more popular. Famous temples were built in places such as Patadakal, Ihole and Mahakuta, and priests Archakas were invited from northern India. Vedic sacrifices, religious vows vrata, and the giving of gifts dana, was important. The Badami kings were followers of Vedic Hinduism and dedicated temples to popular Hindu deities in Ihole. Sculptures of deities testify to the popularity of Hindu gods such as Vishnu, Shiva, Kartikeya, Gunapati, Shakti, Surya and Saptamatrikas. Seven mothers. The Badami kings also performed the Ashwamedha, horse sacrifice. The worship of Laja Gauri, a fertility goddess is known. Jainism too was a prominent religion during this period. The kings of the dynasty were however secular and actively encouraged Jainism. One of the Badami cave temples is dedicated to the Jain faith. 
Jain temples were also erected in the Ihole complex, the temple at Maguti being one such example. Ravikirti, the court poet of Palakeshin II was a Jain. Queen Vinayavati consecrated a temple for the Trimurti Hindu Trinity, at Badami. Sculptures of the Trimurti, Harihara half Vishnu, half Shiva, and Ardhanarishwara half Shiva, half woman, provide ample evidence of their tolerance. Buddhism was on a decline, having made its ingress into Southeast Asia. This is confirmed by the writings of Hyuan T. Siang. Badami, Ihole, Kurtakoti and Pulige modern Lakshmishwar in the Gadag district were primary places of learning. Topic. Society The Hindu caste system was present and Devadasis were recognized by the government. Some kings had concubines who were given much respect, and Sati was perhaps absent since widows like Vinayavathi and Vijayanka are mentioned in records. Devadasis were however present in temples. Sage Bharata's Natyashastra, the precursor to Bharatanatyam, the classical dance of South India, was popular and is seen in many sculptures and is mentioned in inscriptions. Some women from the royal family enjoyed political power in administration. Queen Vijayanka was a noted Sanskrit poet, Kumkumadevi, the younger sister of Vijayaditya and queen of Alupa King Chitravahana made several grants and had a Jain Basadi called Anasajay Basadi constructed at Pulije, and the queens of Vikramaditya II, Lokamahadevi and Trelakyamahadevi made grants and possibly consecrated the Loksvara temple now called Virapaksha temple but also in the Malakarjuna temple respectively at Patadakal. In popular culture The Chalukya era may be seen as the beginning of the fusion of cultures of northern and southern India, making way for the transmission of ideas between the two regions. This is seen clearly in the field of architecture. The Chalukyas spawned the Vesara style of architecture which includes elements of the northern Nagara and southern Dravida styles. During this period, the expanding Sanskritic culture mingled with local Dravidian vernaculars which were already popular. Dravidian languages maintain these influences even today. This influence helped to enrich literature in these languages. The Hindu legal system owes much to the Sanskrit work Matakshara by Vijnaneshwara in the court of Western Chalukya King Vikramaditya VI. Perhaps the greatest work in legal literature, Matakshara is a commentary on Yajnavalka and is a treatise on law based on earlier writings and has found acceptance in most parts of India. Englishman Henry Thomas Colebrook later translated into English the section on inheritance, giving it currency in the British Indian court system. It was during the Western Chalukya rule that the Bhakti movement gained momentum in South India, in the form of Ramanujacharya and Basavanna, later spreading into northern India. A celebration called Chalukya Utsava, a three-day festival of music and dance, organized by the government of Karnataka, is held every year at Patadakal, Badami and Ihole. The event is a celebration of the achievements of the Chalukyas in the realm of art, craft, music and dance. The program, which starts at Patadakal and ends in Ihole, is inaugurated by the chief minister of Karnataka. Singers, dancers, poets and other artists from all over the country take part in this event. In the 26th of February 2006 celebration, 400 art troops took part in the festivities. Colorful cutouts of the Varaha, the Chalukya emblem, Satishraya Palakeshin, Palakeshin II, famous sculptural masterpieces such as Durga, Mahishasuramardini, Durga killing demon Mahishasura, were present everywhere. The program at Patadakal is named Anavaratacharigan Vidike after the famous architect of the Virapaksha temple, Gundan Anavaratachari. At Badami it is called Chalukya Vijayambika Vidike and at Ihole, Ravikirti Vidike after the famous poet and minister Ravikirti in the court of Palakeshin II. Imadi Palakeshi, a Kannada movie of the 1960s starring Dr. Rajkumar celebrates the life and times of the great king. See also Eastern Chalukyas Western Chalukyas Chalukya Cholas Hoysala Empire Chola Dynasty Kamboy Kamboja Notes <laughs>